downloaded it online. It's from River Island. I don't think I realised just how cropped it was, but it had an elasticated waist. And so then when it arrived in the mail, it really was just a little bit too high and there was no way I was ever going to wear it with the elasticated waist and cropped. So I unpicked the whole hem. It does have a frayed hem, but I wear it underneath this jumpsuit. It actually saved the jumpsuit because I wasn't able to wear it like this in the way that I wanted to because it was just so low. And then it, the jumpsuit also saved the top because I wasn't able to wear the top as a cropped. So by pairing them together, it just worked perfectly. So that was a really good way of making sure that I, I had the overall effect that I wanted, even though both items, I had to adjust them to make the whole outfit together. With this dress here, it had a very high slit. It actually came up to sort of mid thigh. And because it was basically a work dress, I just wasn't comfortable with such a, a high wide split on both sides. So what I did was I measured it all out as to how low I could go and still be able to walk. And this is probably more than enough for me. This would be more than a leg stride. So what I did was I then just closed the slit and so that it then is just a little bit below my knee. So it just made it a little bit more modest. It also had a clip here, which you could have open, but I just wasn't comfortable with it being open. I thought being sleeveless is enough. It's a very simple and lightweight summer dress. So I wanted to be as covered up as I possibly could. When I first bought this dress, it was strapless like this. And I'd say it had about another six inches on the length. And I ordered it on the real reel. So when it arrived in the post, I just felt like it was so bottom heavy. I felt like with it being strapless like this, and then so bottom heavy, I thought, I felt very uncomfortable in it. And I also thought, I don't think I'd ever wear it like that because it really was more like a going out dress rather than everyday summer dress. So what I did was I took off the length so that I took it just to below the knee. And then with that extra length, I made some straps. So this is how I wear it now. I then have the straps, which was just perfect for me. I felt like if I've got straps up here, I just felt a little bit more secure. And I found it with this ring, with these shoes. And what I do with the straps is I actually cross them at the back and then I don't have to worry about them coming undone. So there you go. I'm really happy with this dress. So I felt like I saved something that could have been a really bad purchase. There's Mac. <laughs> Now there are times when the alterations that need to be done are just beyond my ability level. And that's when tailors are wonderful creatures. <laughs> they can actually do magic. Even when you think something can't be done, they will find a way to make it happen. There have literally been times when I've taken something to the tailor and I've thought, I don't even know if they're gonna be able to do this. And they do, it's amazing. So this is a case in point. This is from a wonderful Australian brand called Q, C-U-E. I have loved Q clothes all my adult life. And I saw this skirt in an op shop. I thought it's perfect, it's orange, it's tailored, it's A-line, it's mini skirt. It's really high quality, it's fully lined. Unfortunately, it does have pockets, but they're in a weird place anyway. I think this is the first time I've ever put my hands in them. It ticked so many boxes, but it was one size too big and I just couldn't make it look good. So I took it to the tailor and $20 later, then it fits me perfectly. So because I bought this in an op shop, it cost me hardly anything. I can't even remember how much it cost me. And then with the tailoring, 
it cost me probably altogether $40, which if I had have bought this brand new would probably be $160. So it's amazing what tailors can do. Whenever you're dealing with anything that involves zips or lining or anything that is altering, I just think take it to the tailor because I know that I just can't do it. It's beyond my ability level and that is what they're good at, they're trained at. So I do think tailors are worth their weight in gold. And you know, in the olden days, that was how people got things made to begin with, was they were tailor made to fit them. And I think in this day and age with mass production, when there's so many clothes around, I think we somehow tend to think that tailors are a thing of the past, but honestly, they are amazing. Now with this skirt here, I had the opposite problem. It was too small. <laughs> so what I did was I took it to the tailor and what she did was she borrowed some fabric from the inside, brought it to the outside, took out some of the pleats and then now it fits me. So this is the end result. And I am so delighted. I actually found this skirt on the real wheel and it was my size. When I clicked everything, it was US size four. I looked at all the measurements. There was no reason why this should have happened. And I was really upset when it arrived in the post and it was clearly too small for me. And I literally thought all hope is lost. <laughs> Even when I took it to the tailor, I wasn't certain if she would be able to do anything. And then when I picked it up and I saw what she'd done, I thought, that is genius. And I'm so happy with the result. This skirt is just like me in a skirt. <laughs> and I just thought, I have to wear it. It does also have pockets. <laughs> They're everywhere. I just don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, it's extra fabric, it's extra workmanship, it's extra cost. And I just don't think this looks good as an outfit. I think pockets should be banned. So yes, tailors are amazing creatures. They are highly trained and they know how to unpick somebody else's work, scale everything down, fit it to you, put everything back together. No one will ever know. And they're really inexpensive and affordable. And I think that it's a wonderful way of making something that isn't quite right, that doesn't quite fit you, that was made to fit a mannequin or whatever. And this way you can actually then get an item that just works for you. Now this shirt here, I found in a consignment store. It is from Country Road. It's a silk linen blend. It's a beautiful, voluminous, white blouse, perfect in every way. It's elasticated waist. I just loved everything about it, but it was actually too big for me. It was one size too big and it just didn't look flattering. It looked like I was drowning in the fabric. I took it to the tailor and I, actually don't know what she did but she just scaled it down to suit me and I am so happy with the result. It still is an oversized look but it just fits me better. I'm not drowning in all of this fabric. I really like these buttons and I think it's interesting having a little bit of a feature at the back. I was just looking for the longest time for a pair of white jeans with a slight flare. And then I finally found them in an op shop. Once again, they were one size too big. So I took them to the tailor and I know she did tell me that she actually took the stitching out at the back. It, there must have been a lot of work involved. And then she just put them all back together again and they fit me perfectly. Of course, you can probably guess that I cut out the pockets. I haven't stitched it all up again. I think I just wasn't really sure what to do, but I don't put my hands in the pockets anyway. So now I'll try on that top and this pair of jeans to show you. So these are the jeans. 
I'm really happy with the way that they fit. When I found these jeans, I was just so incredibly thankful because I just think they're fabulous. <laughs> and I'm so happy with what the tailor did. If I had never have told you, you'd never know that there has been some alterations. And then you see what I've done with the top? I've just turned it back to front and then I've put my own buttons on the back. So by just reducing some of the bulk out of the top, it just made it a lot more flattering. Now with these jeans here, I found them at an outlet, so they were reduced and I was really happy with them. And I got them in my size, but for some reason they just seemed to just stretch a little bit, like it's almost like the cotton relaxed and then they just became a little bit too baggy. So then I took them to the tailor. I don't know what she did, but she scaled them down for me. I think the same sort of thing. She did all the work at the back and you would never know if I hadn't told you that all of this has been altered. So this is the finished result. I'm just so happy with what she did. They do still have pockets. I haven't removed them because I think I just knew it was going to ruin the line. And yes, I just put my hands in my pockets just there. I kind of get it, but then I don't really. I think it's more for posing purposes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really happy with the result and I don't know what tailors do, but I just really appreciate their work. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this top. I like the colour, I like the concept, I like the fabric, I like the brand, it's Country Road. I like the sleeves, but I don't like all of this. I don't like the fact that this, it's at this nondescript length. Just don't get it. So what I do is I turn it around. So I undo a couple of buttons at the back, turn it around, and then I just gather up all of this excess fabric and then just tie it into a knot. There we go. So I haven't done anything to the integrity of the top, by just by turning it around, oh my goodness, it has just revolutionized my life. Even my daughters just say, mum, you look so much better when things are going all the way up to your neck. And I agree. And I just find that by having a little bit of interesting neck at the back, it's a feature that's unexpected. So where it really matters at the front, everything is all covered up and it's really modest. But then there's a little bit of unexpected skin showing at the back but it's inoffensive. It doesn't bother anybody. And yeah, I'm really happy with the result. And then by this way, tying it all up, it then gives me a little bit of shape. So what I've done here is I've tied it and then I've buttoned it here. So that just keeps everything secure. The fabric then just drapes down the back. So another country road top that I've turned around and tied it at the back. So the tag is actually here. It was meant to be worn the other way, but I'm just so much happier with just turning everything around. So I actually acquired this from my lovely friend, Natalie. We had a clothes swap and she bought this and I just thought that is amazing. I'll take it before anybody else gets here. And I love it. It is just perfect. I love the color, the fabric, the style, and the fact that I can turn it around. So I know you're probably thinking, Heather, what are you doing? You're doing the very thing you said you won't do. And you're right. I hate wearing it like this. So this is a cardigan. I bought it in an op shop. It's by Veronica Main, a really nice brand. It's a little bit glittery. I really like the three different shades. And so what I did was I then sewed up the placket. So I just wear it as a cardigan and I turn it around. So 
So I do think it looks a little bit unresolved like this. And I think most people sort of look at me sideways when I am wearing it because they know something's not right. But I just think if I fiddle with it, I'll ruin it. So I just kind of go with it. It's not a big deal. So at the front, I guess it looks like a jumper. It does look a little bit odd like this and I can never seem to get it to sit right. But then at the back, you can just see it's a little bit of neck showing. So I'm really happy with it. And then because it is all sewn up, I just put it on and off like a jumper. So there you go. There is my collection of clothes that I have altered and adjusted in a high intensive way by taking it to a tailor or something I've done very simply, like turning the top around. So I really hope that you have enjoyed my content. And if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Share my videos with a friend. If you want to see a little bit more, tune in on Monday when I actually have my editorial expressions. I'm really having a lot of fun with everything I'm doing on this channel. And I've got so many ideas for how I can grow. I really hope that you will join me next week and we're going to be looking at dressing up and I can assure you it will be classic, elegant and fun.